It holds up whiteness as a special status. What we would have said bourgeoisie, if we were vulgar Marxist, it gives this access to a greater standing in society to people that are designated as white, whether they are, say, Anglo, or whether they are, say, Polish, or whether they are, say, because Irish or German, the statuses already exist or now Asian. Is, because there are disparities in outcome and achievement between the different racial groups. Because that it makes the fundamental fallacy of making race the central construct for understanding inequality. In other words, it commits the univariate fallacy I'd of condensing you. everything oh, down to race and question? putting it in a conflict theory sense. So can I ask Thank you a question? You. Are Thanks. white people and black people biologically real? Are they the, oh, this is where I lost my shit. This is where I had to. I was like, oh, we're gonna go down this rabbit hole now. Holy I know shit. this is a this is very dishonest because totally again, dishonest. James is just saying, look, you can't fall in this trap of looking at everything through a single factor right. analysis. It's yeah. very stupid generally to do this. And then Jangles is like, oh, really? And then he just picks up a landmine. He throws it. At James, like a frisbee, and says, "Catch this fucker!" I know. And He's like, like, "Come on!" I'm going to accuse you of being a race realist yes. right here in front yes. of everybody. Right. Biologically, what? And like, can you have a biological classification of white and a biological classification of black that would hold up to any sort of scrutiny? I mean, that's no, biologist. that's not exactly right. What hold you on, can actually on, no, no. do is yes you can. No. I, this is also a very stupid question. Yeah, because it's because off. It's pointless. Well, it's 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 too. <sighs> Because what he's implying is not what he's asking. So when someone says, is race real, like mm -hmm. Jangles, the implication, or even if someone who's like, you know, one of these alt-right types says that, the implication is what they're saying is that, you know, there's some inherent, that, that, that black people are on average more different from white people than they are from each other. That's mm -hmm. really what is actually being argued mm -hmm. when people ask this question. And that's untrue. Totally and, you know, we've all, you know, James has said this, Jordan Peterson has said, everyone said this, that uh, there's more differences in, tr in, in the inner group than there are between other groups. There's more differences in, uh, how do I say this? I'm trying to remember how they phrase it. There's more differences within groups than there are between groups. Between groups, yeah. Right. And that's true of race too. And so in that, so the implicit question that Jangle is asking is not true. He said, yeah, no, that there, that's not, it's not true in that sense. However, if you just asked, is, is race something that can be measured biologically, you can say, well, obviously, I have eyeballs, right? And if we've created this human construct of race to, deter, to, talk, to classify people according to skin color, then obviously it can be. It's based on a biological factor. But that's why the question he asked is so sloppy. And I assume that's why uh, James says, well, that's not quite right. Mm-hmm. Because if you give any answer besides no race is not real, then you get labeled as being a racist, basically. Mm -hmm. Answer. You can, you can have, there are, there are biological classifications of population groups spread throughout the planet. Some of them have different colors of skin. That, that actually you can't, that, that's are not these deniable. Are these genetic clusters called race? Race is a low-resolution, socially constructed category Thank into you. which it people... is socially constructed. I yes. don't disagree with By you. Who? What I disagree with so is Kimberly <laughs> Crenshaw, where she says this social category. Did you catch that? It oh. is socially constructed. Thank you. No, did you this catch is... him say "By who"? He's like, Yeah, I know. I know. Of who did this? Who this did this to us? The white men, Adam. I know. The white men. No, not just whiteness did it. Okay, it wasn't oh, the okay. white I'm men. Sorry. How I'm dare sorry. I'm sorry. But um. No, but this is another thing that they always do. None of these fucking leftists in this conversation know what social contract is. They use it incorrectly. They use the term social contract as if it means the opposite of something rooted in biology. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like a good example of this is the classification of mammals. Mm -hmm. Okay. What makes something a mammal? Well, it, mm -hmm. it has hair or fur. It has boobs. Mm -hmm. The females have boobs that they generally nurse their young, and the generally they have live a social births. construct. Okay, that's a social the cla deciding the human decision to say let's take all these animals that share these traits and classify them together is a social construct, of yep. course. But that social construct of mammal is based on a biological fact. Yep. And this yep. is what they totally get wrong when they have these conversations about sex and gender. They'll say like, oh, gender or oh, sex is just a social construct. And it's like, well, that's true, but it doesn't mean what you think it means. It right. doesn't mean that the classifications are not based on biology. Yeah, biological facts. Right.
Yeah, no, it's it's slimy, it's slippery. I don't like it. Is imposed, therefore we can't deconstruct it and walk away from it, mapping the margins near the end, where she says that we need to reevaluate social constructivism to turn it into a critical constructivism that recognizes the racial imposition so that it cannot be deconstructed. Therefore, we have to walk away from, and this is her own words, we have to walk away from people who happen to be black and, and embrace and said people who are black. I am black over I'm a person who happens to be black. Her reasoning is specifically, I'm a person who happens to be black, strains for a certain universality. In effect, I am first a person, where instead she says that we should be actually embracing an identity first mode that says that no, race is because it's imposed, has to become a social location for a uh, anchor of subjectivity. That's her exact wording on this. What I'm opposing, what the thing is, I'm saying, yeah, the thing that we call race is actually socially constructed. It maps poorly onto actual biological di uh, uh, groups that you could find, you could, you could draw DNA and actually detect differences in. It maps poorly on. It's socially constructed. And my view as a liberal is we should deconstruct that. We should take that apart, whether that's, I don't really want to use postmodern means, but we could use liberal means. Hold on. But what critical race theory says is, no, we cannot and will not deconstruct it because it is imposed from without, which is not how would true in 50 it? years. So how would you deconstruct So everything James said is completely true, 100% true, 100% based. I have no clue if anyone followed it. <laughs> I know. I was thinking the same exact thing. Did you follow it, Adam? I did, but I kept thinking the whole time. I'm like, James is slipping into this nether world where mm -hmm. he's only able to talk to people who have read every single thing there is to read on critical race theory or you know, followed his work uh, watching him explain every single thing on critical race theory. There's, it's, it's so jargon-laden. Right. So, so a high end academic that I do well, worry I understand. it's not making it through to people. I understand. That, that's basically your point, right? Well, sort of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. And I understand why he's doing it. It's by, by directly quoting Kimberly Crenshaw mm -hmm. and directly using their terminology. He's showing everyone that he knows what he's talking about. Right. He's trying to appear an authority. And it, yeah, he definitely does. Yeah. But, it, but as you said, it has the problem. Now he does explain it in in layman terms, but just, but as you said, I don't know. I just it goes on too long, in my opinion. I'm not because what he said is very important, which is they asked him if if race is a social construct or is there some sort of race essentialism, and James basically responded by saying it is a social construct, and even though CRT claims that they that it's a social construct, they basically act as if it's an essential a essential concept meaning that that they don't want to get rid of race as a, right. as a as a construction they want to unify around it and use it to gain power which is what crt does it says crt basically says look in during the civil rights movement liberals wanted to take the category of race and make it not important anymore and throw in the trash and that didn't work so now we're going to do the exact opposite we're going to pick up race we're going to shove it into our stomachs and we're going to all identify according to our race. And we're going to use this to gain political power uh, in the world. And that's why it is sort of inherently dishonest for the CRT people to keep saying that race is a social construct. Cause it's like, yes, but you act like it's also an essential part of the person. Yeah. I don't, I, I really have problems with the, it didn't work portion of the the CRT crowds take on liberalism because it did work right. it just didn't work perfectly uh, it still is working so right they or didn't they, work fast enough basically well they want to point to they want to point to things like microaggressions and say like we have made zero progress for right, right. racial equality i just so we we've, we've made i just feel like we made so much progress obviously there's a ways to go so right but i don't see crt is just it's it's leaping bounding running in the opposite direction it's not going to make things better it's going to make things worse yeah exactly how do you think it, white people are going to start voting when you create all these racist stereotypes against white people they're going to well racism is going to go through the roof that's why it's so baffling to me that all the CRT people, the CRT people have their heads so far up their own asses. Yes. Which I guess makes sense. And they're so dumb 
about basic human psychology. And for, for a group of people that are supposed to be sociologists, I, I know be completely <laughs> ignorant of basic sociology here, because yes, if, if you say that black people should start organizing around their racial identity as their primary characteristic and using that to gain power, mm -hmm. the second that starts to work, you're basically telling everyone else to do the same fuck right. thing. Exactly. Yeah. You've, you've created a weapon that other people will be like, oh, that's an effective yes. weapon. I like that. What happens there? You shove gunpowder in there and you got a bullet that comes. Yeah, I like that. Let's do right. it. Right. And, and that's now everyone's of, got guns. <laughs> exactly. And that's like, but people have to understand. And, you know, we, we talk about this in laws too. Any law you pass can be used against you. And that's why you have to make sure it's fair. Okay? Yeah. It's one of the tenets of our, of our liberal society. But it's the same thing for uh, rhetoric. You have to be very careful. Any rhetor rhetoric or persuasion techniques you use will be used against you if they're effective. Because that's what people do. They say, what works? I'm going to copy that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.